Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMyMonkey.com. In this video, we're going to talk about rounding decimals. Now, the rounding rules for decimals are actually the exact same rules as for rounding whole numbers. So we don't really need to learn much new stuff here. I have an example here of a number line with whole numbers here. And let's say we would be rounding to the nearest 10. 20, 30, 40, to one of those numbers. And children have learned that if you have a number like 26, you look at which 10 number is closer to 26. Is it 20 or 30? And that is closer, so 26 is rounded to 30. Or if you have 32, then 30 is closer. Or if you have 35 right in the middle, then the convention is to round it up to 40. Now, with decimals, it works just the same. And I'm going to make these numbers not to be decimals. Just look. This became 2, 2.0, 2 2.6, 3, 3.2, 3 3.5, 3.4. Everything works just the same. This 3.5, rounding to the nearest whole number now, would be rounded to 4. 2.6, 2 and 6 tenths is rounded to 3. Or I could even change this one more time and make this to be 0 0.20 or 2 tenths or 20 hundredths. This could be 0 0.26, like that. And it still works the same, okay? Rounding works in a similar manner. So that is why we can just look at the rounding rules and uh, use the normal rounding rules for whole numbers, just with decimal numbers. Let's look at some examples here. I have underlined to what place value we are going to be rounding to. So here I have now underlined the tens digit. We're going to be rounding to the nearest 10. And I like to use a cutoff line that I will draw right after this digit, like here. We're rounding to the nearest 10, and I draw a line right after that. Then I look at the next digit. And the next digit, if it is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then I'm going to round up. And rounding up, this number is going to be rounded up. When you round up, then this digit you're rounding to is going to be increased by 1. Children already know that, okay? Hopefully. So I just copy everything from here. 4,500. But the tens digit changes from 0 to 1. And then I have to put a 0 here. All of these will basically as if disappear or become zeros. But I cannot leave it without anything, or it would be 451. To make it 4,510, I need to put the 0. Okay, next example. Same number, but we're going to round it to the nearest one. And I underline the ones digit, I put my cutoff line after it. And the next digit is what I look at, it's 4, it means I'm going to round down. That means this digit does not change. So I'll just copy my number up to here. And all of these are changed to zeros. But there's the decimal point here, I don't need to write them, and I, in fact, I should not write them. Here, the same number, but rounding to the nearest tenth now, is my cutoff line. It's going to be cut off after that, but first I have to just check if this digit is going to be changed, if it's going to be rounded up or down. The next digit is 8, it means I round up, and this 4 will change to 5. So I copy everything, change this to 5. There. And the last time, same number, but rounding to the nearest hundredth. My cutoff line, after which the number is cut off. It's as if everything disappears after that. And I copy everything and then check with this number if this is going to change. It's 2, so we're going to round down, and this is not going to change. So just copy everything. 4509.48. Now, this is all hopefully fairly easy, and um, now we're going to look at a little bit special situation, which is with the nines. I have here lots of examples with lots of nines. Here I have two more examples, let's look at these. 0 0.496, first we'll round it to the nearest 10. I put my cutoff line right here. After this, these two are going to be cut off, like disappear. Okay, but first I need to check if this number will make this go up one or not. 
And 9, surely the number will be rounded up now. So this 0 0.4, 4 will turn to 5. It's going to be 0 0.5. Now we're going to round the same number to the nearest hundredth. My cutoff line is here. After it is 6, so the number is again rounded up. And I would need to round 9, or, or change 9 to the next digit, which is 10. And so what happens here is, it's like thinking about this 49 changing to 50. You can think of it as 9 changing to 10, but it changes the 4 to 5. So we get 0 0.50. Now let's hear these two results, 0 0.5 and 0 0.50. They are equal in value. But when we have these two digits here, it tells us that this was rounded to the nearest hundredth. It has the hundredths digit there. This one only has tenths digit, so it was rounded to the nearest tenth. So let's look a little bit more about these numbers with lots of nines. Here I have 799, and uh, rounding to the nearest 10, my cutoff line is here, and 9 here means that I round up, but I have 9 here, so I increase 9 to 10, so to speak, which means the 9 goes to 0 and 7 goes to 8. The next place value here goes up 1. The way I usually think about it is that I, I think of it as a number 79, so to speak, that goes up 1 goes to 80, okay, and then this one goes to 0, of course, and so we get 800. This one is very similar, we have 798.5 rounded to the nearest 10, I draw my line here, here's 8, it's going to be rounded up again, and here's 9, so I can pick up my 79, changing to 80, and then these go to 0, or are cut off, so to speak. And um, here I have 39.971 and round it to the nearest tenth. Here's where I cut it off. Seven means I'm going to round it up. And so I have nine, nine, and three. So I think of it this way. I think of it, well, here's kind of like a number, 399. I increase that by one to 400, so to speak. Okay? But that's the decimal point here. So I get 40.0. Now I do need to include this zero here. I cannot just omit it. Because if, if I don't write this decimal zero, it looks like it was rounded to the nearest 10, or nearest 1, either way. Now, when this is here, I know that it was rounded to the nearest 10, because the 10th digit is there. Over here, out of line here, it's rounded to the nearest, it's going to be rounded to the nearest hundredth. And I have also nines here. So I think of these here, they are kind of like 999. And to increase that by 1, I get 1,000, right? And I write everything from the 6 over there. 6 and then all these. I need to include these decimal zeros to make sure it shows that it was round to the nearest 100. Last one. My cutoff line is here, now I just have one 9 here, I think of this 29 here, changing to 30, and I get 33.0.